Hi, welcome back to Leighton Zola. Uh, the video today is going to be about uh, how my great Pyrenees work on my farm. Uh, over the last few nights, I've been uh, videoing them at night uh, with night vision on my camera. It's, it, it's not perfect, but uh, it'll give you an idea of what my dogs actually do on my homestead. <coughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear that tonight. The coyotes are out tonight. Logan hears the coyotes. I can just barely hear them off in the distance. But uh, these dogs can hear them way better than I can. What do you hear, Logan? What's it? Now this is a typical Pyrenees. This is pretty much how they guard the property. Uh, they just He just came from the front. Now he's going all the way down to the back. Uh, they bark. They patrol. They wander around. That's pretty much what they do when they bark. They let the coyotes know that this is not a safe place for coyotes. Most coyotes around here are smart enough not to come on my property. So yeah, my dogs patrol... I say about seven or eight acres immediately around like all of my uh, horses paddocks, my pig pens, uh, my chicken coops. Uh, my dogs pretty much patrol that all night long, the both of them. There's That's Logan over there, I don't know if you can barely see them. That's Stormy sitting there. And uh, they just uh, ran from the paddock that was way up on the other side of the paddock, a horses paddock, which is about... I don't know, 600 feet from here, 700 feet from here. So yeah, that's where they were because there was coyotes off in the distance howling. And uh, these guys want to make sure that uh, coyotes know that they're here. So yeah, their job is not just to... Uh, well, their job is not really to attack anything. Their job is just to deter and warn coyotes that this is not a safe place for them to come by. So that, that is the Pyrenees goal, is to keep everything away. Not necessarily by force, but just by intimidation sparks, owls. Uh, the, the Great Pyrenees seems like they're on every part of the property. Because in uh, one minute I can hear my dog barking at the front. And then the next minute, I can hear them, you know, six or seven hundred feet down in the back, barking down there, barking out over the electric fence. So, yeah, so what they like to do is to let all the predators that's in the area know that this is their territory and do not cross it. So, yeah, that's what the Great Pyrenees do, and they're really good at their job. Now, Logan is fantastic, and so is Stormy. Uh, Stormy has more of a female bark. Logan's a very deep bark, which lets coyotes know just how big he is. I mean, he's an average coyote size here on Prince Edward Island. Our, our coyotes is actually a cross with timber wolves, so they're a lot bigger than a normal coyote. Uh, they can reach anywhere from uh, 55 to maybe 75, maybe even up to 100 pounds. So yeah, they're pretty big coyotes. But now Logan, he's almost 200 pounds, so coyote is not going to uh, 
attack Logan. Now, I'm not saying a pack of coyotes wouldn't attack him, uh, but they would have to be pretty desperate to take that chance. And because I have two great Pyrenees, the chances of a coyote pack attacking them is very unlikely. Now, coyotes do not want to get hurt. I mean, that's in their nature is to... Well, like any animal in nature, they don't want to get hurt. I mean, their lives depend on it. Like if a coyote got hurt, he's pretty well done. Like he wouldn't be able to feed himself. Uh, his pack would not take care of him. They would just consider him that, you know, he can't help the pack anymore, so they would just leave him. And that's nature. It's brutal, but that's nature. Now as dogs and the Great Pyrenees, well, they know that even if they get hurt, they're still going to be taken care of. Hurt. So that's why the Great Pyrenees are such a good deterrent, is because they're big dogs, they're loud dogs, and they seem to be everywhere on the property at once. Because there's always one of them that's patrol patrolling the property. One is usually sleeping, and then the other one is patrolling. Like at night when we're in bed, you get used to airing the dog's bark. I mean, that's just part of life if you have Great Pyrenees patrolling your property. But, very rarely do we ever hear two dogs barking. And if we usually hear two dogs barking, it's a big fuss going on outside, that means I have to get up. Which I think in the last five years, I think that might have happened once or twice. And uh, I think the, the one time I got up, I thought there must have been like a, a pack of coyotes out here. Nope, <laughs> Logan got sprayed with a skunk. That was a big fuss. <laughs> Stormy's smart. She got sprayed with a skunk once and ran away and she don't go outside of skunks anymore. Logan? Ah, he don't care. He's been sprayed twice this year, probably three times last year. Ah, he don't really care. But he's never killed one. He drives them away though. He do not let anything on the property. He's really good at that part. Yeah, if you like the video, consider subscribing hit that like button it would sure help this video out and uh, leave a comment and thanks for watching